Hello everyone! So I don't even know where to begin with this video. Um, I've been really busy. I feel like I say that at the beginning of every video. Probably do. I'm sorry for the lack in videos. I literally am trying to be better and set some sort of semi-schedule for myself and to try to film more for you guys. I have so many ideas in my head and I just need to like execute them. So this video is just going to be a huge haul from Sephora. I got all of this stuff during the VIB sale so that has come and gone but on the plus side of me waiting forever to film this video I have a lot of things to share and I've mostly tried all of them. Go ahead and start. I'm going to try to go in a little bit of a category and yeah. Alright so the only face foundation thing that I picked up during the sale is the Custom Cover Drops by Cover FX. I'm in the color G30. I've made a little post about this on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you don't. Um, Cause I do do some like beauty reviews on there from time to time. But this is a tiny little bottle and I was not planning on picking this up. I wasn't really looking for a new foundation during the sale but I was sucked into it. This, this is so customizable and such a unique product. I'm sure you guys have heard about it, but basically what these are, are coverage, really high coverage drops where um, it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys have any serums that have like a um, dropper top. So I don't know if you can see that. It's a really, really cool product. I I find that every morning I want to like try it with something different and see what works best. My favorite way so far has been applying it with primers. So I will either do it with the Chanel Le Blanc primer or the Dior Pore Minimizer primer. Um, I also have been liking using it with a moisturizer. It works really well with basically anything that you blend it with. Uh, this will also work well if you have a foundation that might be a little bit like to sheer coverage or the same thing with the tinted moisturizer or BB cream, CC cream, whatever. This is perfect. It will add a lot of coverage to it. And I think that it adds a mattifying, beautiful, like kind of, I don't know, radiant look to the skin. Really like this so far. Um, I will probably be including it in my favorites because I've just been using it ever since I got it. I'm a total concealer aholic and I picked up two during the sale. The first one was the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I use the color Light Warm and this is an amazing, amazing concealer. That's it. It's a really nice kind of like doe foot applicator. I really, really like the applicator of this. It makes it really smooth. You wouldn't think this is as pigmented as it is, but it's really pigmented and blendable and creamy. Um, comparing it to the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, the NARS is a more tacky. This is a little bit more fluid. And I find that the NARS has a little bit more coverage. However, this is amazing if you put it over like a corrector, um, which is this thing right here. This is the Tarte CC um, Under Eye Corrector in the light. Light, I think that's what I have in here. Light medium. Um, I've been using this too. I've just kept the cases so I won't forget to show them to you guys. So that is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. Um, I've actually been really liking these used together. I just find that they work really well. This eliminates your dark circles completely. It's a peachy pink kind of corrector that is, you know, used to counteract the darkness of the eyes. This is amazing for brightening and this is also good if you want to like take it into like a V shape and do a very highlighted under eye look. Love these concealers a lot. The last complexion thing I have is this bronzer by Hourglass. These had a lot of hype. It was my friend Mel from Makeup Phases with Mel that posted about this and she tagged me on Instagram and that girl is such an enabler. If you guys don't watch her, you need to or follow her on Instagram. I'll link her channel and Instagram down below, but just warning, have your wallet out because she's going to make you want to order like timely on things. <laughs> um, so this is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer and I first ordered the Radiant Light. I got it swatched with it, played around with it a little bit, and found it was a little too orange for me. And obviously Sephora has an amazing return policy, so I went back there. I heard really good things about the Luminous one, and this is the one that's catered to more light skin tones. It's stunning. It's beautiful. I don't find it to be orange at all on me. I am wearing it today. I did contour a little bit as well with the Kat Von D um, contour kit, but this is a beautiful all-over bronzy, like, 
sheen glow it looks like you've been at the beach it's so so nice that's what that looks like and this is the perfect bronzer for spring and summer because I just find that during the winter I like my bronzers to be a little bit more matte but this is perfect because even though it does have some sheen to it it's not like glitter particles or anything like that it's stunning gorgeous you need luminous in your life you need it don't get radiant it might be a little bit too orange I haven't really heard anyone raving about radiant but I have heard a lot of people raving about luminous and I agree with the that the luminous is better. I also picked up a new brush from Bobbi Brown. This is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. I've been really liking this. I've been using this with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. I just kind of, you know, dab it all over my face. It picks up product really, really nicely. I love Bobbi Brown brushes. They're such high quality, amazing. Um, I also restocked the NARS Via Veneto Eyeliner. Um, I lost mine. I don't know where or how exactly it was lost, but this is just my favorite black eyeliner. I don't use it like at the top of my eyes. I literally just use this to line my waterline and it's so pigmented. It's gorgeous and doesn't run, lasts all day. Love it. I just have a few more makeup things and then the rest is all skincare and that type of stuff. Um, I got two lip products from Marc Jacobs. One is one of their new lip gel formulas in understudy. I'm going to swatch these for you so you can see. Understudy is just like the most beautiful, pinky, peachy, nude, gorgeous. I love this packaging of Marc Jacobs. That magnetic click is so satisfying. Love this and I think I want to get more of these lip gels because they are awesome. And I also got the liner in Primrose. This is another Mel recommendation. She will make you buy everything. The last makeup thing I got is a new um, YSL Rouge Velup Day Shine. They're, they're not new to like the world but it's new to my collection if that makes sense. Um, I was really scared because I bought this and then I came home and I was like have this but I don't I have nine this is seven they're pretty similar this one is in Rose Enfinite um, so there is the Marc Jacobs understudy Marc Jacobs lip um, pencil in Primrose and the YSL Rouge Velup Day Shine in Rose Enfinite and that is number seven just kind of background I do try to use a VIB sale to rebuy stuff that I either have been missing from my collection that like I really like and have used up but I just haven't felt like purchasing it again. Case in point was this serum by Caudalie. I absolutely love this serum and it is one of those products, I don't know if you guys have any products like that, that when you finish them up or you know don't have them anymore you automatically miss it and I like realized I missed it for like a month and then I was like whatever I was trying to use up other things and just trying not to be wasteful. This is a like magic potion that makes your skin flawless, radiant, even texture. It I have a little bit of like redness on my skin. Completely cancels that out. I love this. It's the Vino Perfect Serum. I've talked about this like many times on my channel. But um this retails you for this retails you. This retails for $79. But during the sale and I think they still have this set right now, they were offering an amazing deal with this and this set for $79 plus the uh, discount. So that was a really, really good deal. Um, haven't tried these other things yet, so I don't want to give you guys a, a review on that. But grab this set if you like this serum or if you're interested in this serum because these are amazing, huge deluxe samples. This is a full size of the um, Beauty Elixir, which is like $21 in, in and of itself. So we have the Beauty Elixir, the Instant Detox Mask. I think these are new. And then the Premier Crew Eye Cream, which this is a really expensive eye cream. I think it's like $100 or more. So I'm excited to try the rest of this stuff. I love Caudalie. I find it such a beautiful brand. Everything is really effective and just kind of natural. So you don't feel that bad about you know, paying that much because you know that it's good ingredients and that it's gonna do a lot for your skin. One thing that I've been wanting to try for a while is this thing by Clarins. It is the 
Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. So this is a made to measure self tan that you can add to your moisturizer, oil, serum, and apply it to your skin um, day and night. So I've been using this. I feel like it's been pretty effective. I feel like my skin looks more glowy and tan. Um, but it is pricey. It's 30 bucks. I hope that it lasts a long time. I mean, I've been using it for like two weeks and it's literally like not even a dent in it, but I like this so far. If you're looking to do something like it's not going to be like automatic, like you're going to have like a gorgeous, like full tan, but it does help with radiance and it does give your skin a nice color. This is something again, like the Caudalie product that I ran out of and I was like, I need this. I talked about it, I think, in one of my favorites this year because I just wanted to reiterate how amazing it is. Um, I'm pretty sure I included it in like my year favorites, I think. I, I hope I did because it's freaking amazing. This is the Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil from Clarins. This is my favorite night oil. It's amazing. It smells so good. Um, I literally finished every drop of my other one. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have those scents that just remind you of things. It's, it's weird, but I love this. I can't wait to start using it again. This is an automatic like facial in a tube. Um, and it really, you know what, whenever you have a like pimple or any sort of irritation, this takes it away overnight. I swear to God, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. It is a miracle product. This, these two are like Hallelujah. This one I've been really wanting to try and I have been really enjoying it. It is the Super Cleanse Daily Treatment Cleanser from Glam Glow, the white one. This is the one that is kind of like a clay mask. First of all, can we talk about this packaging? It's just beautiful. I, I love this packaging. It's sleek. It's cute. It looks like, I don't know, it's something I'm going to have on my vanity. It's, it's a lot of product. It's huge and it is 40 bucks, so it better be huge. But I've been really liking this as a treatment cleanser. I haven't been using it every day, but I have been using it probably like four times a week and I really like it. I find like my skin feels so clean, smooth after and my pores are like so diminished from using this. Really like this so far and you guys should try this next time you're at Sephora. Also looking for a new scrub. This is by Cora's and it is the Brightening and refi Refinishing. I want to say refinishing, <laughs> refinishing buff cleanser. This is good. I mean, it's nothing miraculous. You know, this is the one that has rose extract. So I love anything rose. It smells so, so good. It literally smells like roses. But I like this so far. You know, it's not something I'm going to be like, go out and get it right now. I also ran out of the Dior Creme de Rose. This is my fourth one I've ever gone through. And I've been using them for about two and a half years, maybe three years. So if that gives you an estimate of how long it lasts. This is my favorite lip balm. I cannot live without it. I literally finished my other one like two weeks ago. No, I'm sorry, two days ago. And I've already started using this because I can't live without it. I literally can't go to bed without this on my lips. Maybe that's a high maintenance problem, but hey. Okay, so I only have a few more things left. I restocked my perfume too. I'm telling you guys, it's a lot of restocking and um, just like rebuying things I already have. This is my favorite perfume for like the summertime. I love this and Chanel Chance. Chanel Chance tends to be a little bit heavy during the summer. I feel like I'll still wear it, but um, this is so light and flirty and perfect for the summertime. And this reminds me of my trip to Europe last year. And the last thing I got is this little set. This is like a freebie um, from Bumble and Bumble with the hairdresser invisible oil family. Um, I've tried this shampoo and conditioner before and I love it. So I definitely took advantage of this sale. Their 500 point perks sometimes are amazing and sometimes they're just like, who wants that, you know? Um, but this comes with the shampoo, conditioner, and this little priming spray. These are all really nice sizes. I'll probably end up taking this stuff to Mexico. Um, when I go at the end of the month of May. So that was everything you guys that I got during the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I'm like really out of it and I feel like I don't, I don't forget what I said at the beginning of the video, but I've been shopping like crazy. I've been shopping as if like all the stores are running out of their merchandise and a lot of it is clothes and fashion and accessories and stuff like that. So I will be doing a spring fashion haul probably this weekend. 
Um, I'll be filming that and then that will be up also. I also have done like two orders from Forever 21 for my trip to Mexico. Very like beachy kind of um, tropical inspired outfits that I don't really wear that much here. But that's why I didn't spend that much money on them and went the Forever 21 route. But I've gotten a lot of stuff. I've gotten like two new purses, a lot of shoes, sunglasses, stuff like that. So I want to share that with you guys and... Um, give you guys some ideas also on the fashion side of things. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you guys want an, like, an individual review on any of these products, I'd be more than happy to do that. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. That wave is so awkward. Like, bye. Let's get this party started. Ooh, a bird just flew and I thought it was inside of my apartment. Time to wash my hands, time to wash my hands, time to wash my hands. All right.